it kind of felt like we were on a rocket ship, you know, and we would press launch and everybody would go, you know, and nobody really knew where we were going because there was no windows, okay? We were just kind of along for this ride. We hope we aimed the rocket in the right place. What we really wanted to do was put some windows on this thing, okay? And eventually, through this process, what we were able to do was peel away the sheet metal of the rocket and actually create a really cool bubble that gave us 360 degree visibility. From a development perspective, we, you know, we have been working in this traditional hierarchy approach where, you know, you have a developer that reports to a manager who then reports to somebody else who then tells them what they do. So there was a lot of passing information down from person to person to person. The individuals are no longer sitting in a back seat along for a ride. You know, they feel like they get their turns at the controls. Everybody's playing a part and everybody's got visibility into what the beginning, middle, and end is. They all started getting really excited about how this all ties together and what we really are as a company and what we're really striving to achieve together and putting some words behind it that made sense to everybody. I saw huge light bulbs go off right then and, and people really started getting excited about the direction they were taking and believing in what they were doing together. It's much uh, more focused on the uh, team as a whole and how they are integral part of the team and how they can help meet organizational goals as opposed to uh, one individual being a hero or, or the go-to person. So as the CEO of the company, uh, I had explicit trust in development leadership, Brian Clements. I had zero visibility. It was a black box to me and it was extremely frustrating. And the end product that we got was often disconnected from what the original vision was going in. It was really just Steve and I at the beginning that would make the decisions on how things would go. If Steve wasn't available, I would just make the decision. Sometimes the product went the way it needed to, sometimes not. They really were smart people. They loved the company they were working for. I think they love what they're doing. It was just a matter of not being able to do it well together. And this process was what was going to help them do that. What really attracted us to Center was they were extremely confident, um, maybe even a little bit cocky. They don't allow you just to say, well, that's just the way it was. You know, if they ask you a specific question about something and we just say, well, that's how we've always done it. Well, that's not a good enough answer. You know, they really drill us down and make sure they really understand why we're doing something. We try to be as honest as we possibly can, but at the same time, sometimes it's hard to look inside and really agree that, you know, we did something wrong. They were always trying to be very truthful and honest with us, no matter if it was something we didn't want to hear. The beautiful part was, is they brought it. Everything that they said they were going to do, they uh, brought in spades. In the beginning, we thought we were this super cool organization. And we had a lot of great things going for us. But we were actually very disconnected from our people. And today, that's completely different. I mean, people from an individual basis know how important their contribution is. The, the biggest impact uh, and biggest change that you see is if you uh, get teens to experience that they are uh, empowered. I've seen it right away after the second sprint that they were to uh, deliver their increment to their stakeholders. It was just the acknowledgement of uh, now I know why we're doing this. I think we had very uh, siloed driven people within the organization and they are now team driven people and that makes a huge difference overall. We're creating much, much better products in a much more timely fashion. We're, we're much more efficient, uh, much more cost effective. Uh, we've certainly received, you know, a, a tenfold, a twentyfold, who knows, maybe even a thirtyfold, you know, return on our investment. We've all experienced supercharged organizations, organizations that are exceptional. With Centair, what really makes them great is the fact that their people have the depth, the experience, and the confidence to deliver not only the training, but what it takes to make the transformation.